Good morning, ESM. Today we're going to be talking about pet peeves. More on this after news with Anthony. The Senate confirmed Ketanji Brown Jackson to, be, to the Supreme Court on Thursday, shattering a historic barrier by securing her place as the first black female justice and giving President Joe Biden a bipartisan endorsement for his effort to diversify the high court. Cheers rang out in the Senate chamber as Ketanji Brown Jackson, a 51-year-old appeals court judge with nine years of experience on the federal bench, was confirmed 53 to 47, mostly along party lines, but the th what with three Republican votes. Presiding and emotionally announcing the vote was Vice President Kamala Harris, also the first black woman to reach her high office. Jackson will take her seat with Justice Stephen Breyer, tires this summer, solidifying the liberal wing of the 6-3 th th conservative-dominated court. She joined Biden at the White House to watch the vote, embracing as it came in. During the, four, during the four days of Senate hearings last month, Jackson spoke of her parents' struggles through racial segregation and said her path was clearer than theirs as a black American after the enactment of civil rights laws. She told senators she would apply the law without fear or favor, and push back on Republican attempts to portray her as too lenient on criminals she had sentenced. 66-year-old man, Curtis Jameson, rear-ended a school bus at 3.43 p.m. Monday afternoon on Midland Avenue. There weren't any kids on the bus at the time, but Jameson is currently in critical condition. He was pulled from the car and taken to Upstate University Hospital. The driver of the school bus was not reported injured. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The History Department is offering after-school review sessions for all Global 10 students. There will be one review class every week starting, starting after spring break. Students may attend any and all of these sessions. Please sign up for each review class on the sign-up sheet outside room B37 so instructors can prepare materials. Are you interested in working in education as a possible career? Would you like to tutor younger students and visit local colleges? Check out the Take a Look at Teaching Club. Our next meeting is after school on Wednesday, April 20th in room C4. Join the Google Classroom code for more, inf for more information, W4NXOEY. There will be a key club meeting on Tuesday, April 19th after school in room C4. So today's show is on pet peeves. Now, Liv, what are some of your pet peeves? I have way too many. Like, literally everything annoys me. But one of my biggest ones is people who stand too close to you and especially close talkers. I don't like close talkers. That annoys me. And I also, when people come through the line at Wegmans, because I'm a cashier at Wegmans, and they're talking on the phone, and they don't stop to talk to you, and they, they're still on their phone. Oh, yeah, they're, me. they're like I'm in the middle of the call, and you're asking them questions, and they're just like, hold on one second, and they keep going. That bothers me. And then also, when people make your coffee too sweet, oh. that bothers me. That bothers me. And I went around the school and asked you guys some of your pet peeves. People who say height, like length times width times height. Slow drivers and walkers. My biggest pet peeve is probably like messes. Like my, it kills me like when my kids come home and just throw their stuff everywhere. I'm like, just just put it away. Just put it away. And don't get so that way you won't get mad when I ask you to later. Definitely people snapping at me. Biggest pet peeve. Mr. Anslong. My biggest pet peeve is being on camera. Uh, people that complain. What? When people are walking through the halls, holding their hands with like their partner, and they take up like the entire hallway, and it like causes like a huge like traffic jam. All right, my name is and I, and my biggest pet peeve is when you chew and gummy, you like, and you don't stop. That junk is annoying. My biggest pet peeve is when people show up late to things. My biggest pet peeve is literally. Kids, and everybody says literally now, it's a wasted word, it's misused. It's literally my biggest pet peeve. So my pet peeve is when people ask me for something and they haven't looked. Like my son, like, do we have ketchup? Open the refrigerator, it's right there. My pet peeve is people uh, who drive in the passing lane and are not passing anymore. 
Why are you just cruising there? Go to the other lane. When people smack their gum mad loud. Your biggest pet peeve. When people walk slow in the hallway. I hate when people chew with their mouth open. So, I'm actually covering this giant green blob over here. So, now that I'm not covering, you can see that we're getting a rainstorm that is moving east and will hit us soon, and we have a little blotch right here, so you can expect some rain today. Now, onto our seven day forecast. Today, we will, have, we will have a high of 56 and low of 37, and tomorrow, when that rainstorm hits, will be a lot colder with a high of 49 and a low of 35. Sunday will be very similar with more rain, and on those days, we might even get some snow, which I'm sure a lot of you are sick and tired of. Now, on to our break. It's looking pretty warm with a high of 71 on Thursday, so break's going to be pretty warm, so make sure you go outside over break. And with that, I'm Grayson with the weather. Is this bothering you, Liv? Are you being serious? the Grizzlies last night, Nikola Jokic became the first player in NBA history with 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a season. After the first round of the Masters, Sonia M is in first at 5 under par, and Cameron Smith is in second at 4 under par, and Tiger Woods is tied for 10th at 1 under par. The boys lacrosse team lost 12-9 against West Genesee. Logan Welch scored three goals, Evan DeBurgess and Trey Jones both scored two goals, and Jack and Palem scored one goal. The boys baseball game, the boys baseball game against Auburn Today has been postponed. The girls lacrosse game against Homer tomorrow has been rescheduled to May 14th. The girls softball team has a game tomorrow at West Hill at 12. And the slide shows all the upcoming games over break. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Well, ESM, I hope you enjoyed today's show. And for oh, me God. and everyone here at the morning show, have a great day.